Hey YouTube, today I'd like to do a little comparison video of a couple backpacks that I've been eyeballing. Uh, the first one is the 511 Tactical Rush 72, and the second one is the Maxpedition Vulture 2. And I've been in the in the backpacking market for a little bit, trying to decide which one to get, so I decided to get both of them and test them out and see which one I liked better. So uh, I have some test points uh, outlined here that I'd like to go over in this little comparison. Uh, I have on my list of things to do, I have price, quality of material, weight, uh, front, mid, main compartments, pockets, the bottom or base of the backpacks, uh, the handle, the mole strapping, hydration compartment, uh, zippers, weight support, load in, load out, the quality of the back, uh, storage space, shoulder straps, water bottle capabilities, the overall balance of the backpacks when on, compression straps, waist straps, chest straps, drain holes, water resistance, attachment points and add-ons, and customer service and warranty. And so I'd like to uh, kind of test all of those for both of these backpacks to help me come to a decision on which one to get. To help me with my testing, I have a lot of uh, equipment set out here. Uh, I have some paper towels, I have a couple Nalgene water bottles, I have my EDC backpack, which is a Maxpedition Pygmy Falcon 2. I have some water tests that I'm planning on doing with a water bladder and a little jug of water. And I have these three blankets, and in each of these blankets I have a, a dumbbell in there. I have some weight. So this one's a 10 pound, here's another 10 pound, this one's a 15 pounder. So I'm going to have about 35 pounds of, of weight in there. So. I'd like to test to uh, put both of these backpacks through the ringer and see which one comes out as the backpack of choice for me. So let's get started. Okay, so before I get started, I just want to let you know, uh, sorry in, in advance for having two black backpacks. I know those don't turn out too well on videos as far as seeing all the details on them, but I like black backpacks, so that's what I got. Uh, no, first off, let's talk about price. I paid $130 for the Maxpedition, and I paid $159 for the Rush 72. So, as far as price goes, point goes to the Maxpedition Vulture 2. Uh, however, let's talk about water bottles. Uh, on the Maxpedition uh, Vulture 2, there is no water bottle compartment anywhere here unless you want to put it into the main body. Uh, but on the 511, Rush 72, you have two spots where you could fit in full-size Nalgene bottles with addition to more items there on both sides of that. So as far as uh, water bottle capability goes, uh, point goes to the Rush 72. Uh, let's talk about weight. Both of these are very heavy backpacks compared to something you can get at REI, for example. Um, I, won't get, I, I listed the specifics already in the beginning of this video. The, the Maxpedition is slightly lighter than this one. They're both in, both in between four and five pounds, so they're uh, heavy backpacks by a lot of standards, so they're definitely not ultra light. So we're going to say weight goes to uh, the Vulture 2. So let's talk about size, because that's where uh, a big difference is. So let's uh, stop. All right, so right now let's look right at the uh, 511 Tactical Rush 72. As you can see, it's an extremely large backpack. Uh, I'll use this Nalgene water bottle as a kind of ruler since it's kind of a standard item most people have. But, uh, this thing is ab absolutely huge. I'll show you how huge it is. So, okay, open it up. Inside of it, I have the Max Edition Vulture 2 sitting inside of that, which is fully loaded. with my Mac Edition Pygmy Falcon that I have fully lit. That's my EDC backpack. So as you can see on the video, that this uh, the Rush 72 absolutely just eats this thing for breakfast, which does eat the Pygmy Falcon too. So as far as uh, space goes, they, they say they have, oh, you know, this one's listed as larger and it definitely is larger. The main compartment's absolutely huge in it. So I just wanted to kind of give that demo for the video. All right, let's talk over the quality of the material. I'm not going to go and do an, a separate review on each of these because there's enough of those on YouTube right now. I'm just going to see it how, call it as I see it, just in comparison of the two. But so let's right, right now let's just start with uh, the quality of the material. Both of these are very tough backpacks. I mean, you'd be happy getting either one of them. From uh, what I found is that the the Maxpedition it's it's pretty stiff the, the material. It's it's very nice material. But as, as far as maneuvering, opening, opening it up, putting things in there, 
I, I find it a little stiff, especially when trying to open open and close zippers. Uh, the little flap for the zippers is, kind of makes it so it's a little, a little tougher to get in and out of. I find that the stiff material does work well when you're talking a smaller backpack like the Pygmy Falcon 2, but for this big beast here, the Vulture 2, it's, for me it's a little cumbersome, although the quality, as far as taking a beating, uh, I mean, I'm sure you could drag this behind your car on the freeway and it, it would be pretty fine afterwards. The, the Rush 72's material is also very, it's a, it's very tough, but I find it to be a little bit more flexible. And you can see, this is just a lot tougher to maneuver than this. So I, I feel that I could fit more things in here that are odd shape that might have to bend the material a little bit for storage uh, purposes than I would on this. Uh, but if I was going to go just on the toughness of the material, I'd probably get to the next edition. Uh, as far as my preference, I, I would pick the, the Rush 72 just because it's a little bit more limber than this. But this is definitely a, a tougher material. So why don't we just call it a tie and you, you make the decision on which one you like. Alright, now let's talk about uh, the, the compartments and then the bottom of the, the backpacks. So the Max Edition, you've seen other reviews of this, it has a, a front pocket here, which is fairly deep. It has, a, I'm just going to call this the mid compartment. Here's where you can see the material being stiff, and it's hard to to open it. The mid compartment's fairly, fairly good size too, I mean I could probably put a throw pillow in there if I wanted to. And then it has the main compartment, which is a very deep and large uh, compartment which has a couple little storage pockets in there as well. So you have three compartments on this bag. On the Rush 72, you kind of have three and a half, I'd call it. Or actually more than that. You have the front front compartment here, which has a lot of different pockets. You have this little, this little upper one, which, uh, here's my measuring stick, so that's how the Nalgene kind of looks at it. You have this mid, uh, it's not, it's not zippered or anything, it, it attaches it, with these attachment points, it kind of seals up. And uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what I would do with this, but you have this mid storage space. You have the side pockets, compartments here for water bottles, or I was hoping to fit this uh, spend saw in it. It's a little bit too, the spend saw's a little too long for that. That just gives you a kind of size there too. You also have a little pocket for... Or is it for sunglasses up here, or for glasses, and then the main compartment, which is a, it's a clamshell opening, which is it's extremely large and has other little pockets in there. Both have a water bladder on the back. As far as the main compartments go, I, I'm going to have to give it to the Rush 72 as far as uh, the winner of this contest, because uh, this I like how it's a full clamshell opening, kind of like what the Maxpedition Pygmy Copper 2 is. The Vulture 2, it almost opens up all the way, but there's still, you know, you still have about six or eight inches there that you can't do a full clamshell. So it's a little, you can fit stuff in there, but not really. And as you can see, the, with using this full clamshell here, you can fit a bag as large as the Vulture 2 inside of the Rush 72. As far as the bottoms of this go, I'm going to have to give it to uh, the Vulture 2 as far as uh, which one I prefer as the bottom of the base. I, I like this material, I don't know what it's called. But uh, the material is real nice quality, it's real tough, I mean, you can have that on the ground and it wouldn't, wouldn't get wet at all. The Rush 72, it, the material is the same as the rest of the backpack. It does have the two drainage holes for the inside of the, uh, the pack, but it, what you notice is that it doesn't have any kind of strapping to attach like a sleeping bag or a tent on the base of it, while the Vulture 2 does have these, have these straps here. So as far as uh, the base of the backpack go, winner goes to Vulture 2. As far as compartments go, I, I, I prefer the Rush 72. It has more compartments, and I think that you could fit a lot more stuff in it. And this is a kind of a wild card compartment, so I, I just prefer the clamshell opening. So that's, that's where I'm going to call it. All right, so rather than have me just keep on talking, let's do an actual loadout of one of them. Load in, load out, and just kind of put it to the ringer. So it's, it's a nice day, so I'll take it outside and let's see how it does. So let's start off with uh, Vulture 2. So I'm going to put, uh, here's my weights over here, towels with weights. So I'm going to stick in, close this up. I'm going to stick the 10 pound at the bottom here. Let's put, uh, let's see which one's this one. 
This is the 15 pounder. I'm going to stick it in the middle. And here's another 10 pounder. It's going up in the top. These are just normal bathroom towels. And got some of the beach towels or washcloths or anything. So that's pretty much full, as you can see right there. I, I can't really put a whole bunch more in there if I wanted to. So let me see if I can see what this is. Alright, so as you can see, you kind of have to push the, the first one in there towards the base, it, it does, since it doesn't op open up all the way. Um, just put this thing on and test it out. Alright, so this is the Vulture 2 on. I have the waist strap on as well as the chest strap. It's a side profile view of it. So the rear, the other side. So th these, both of these bags both have a kind of elastic -y chest strap. Sorry for any kind of sweat, it's kind of hot. One thing I found with this, I feel that there's these straps kind of dangle all over the place, but that'd be something I have to get used to. And, and the waistband, it kind of feels like it's made for like really fat people because there's, if you're if you're semi slender, it's it's uh, you have a lot of loose material. But I'm gonna, it's a nice day. I'm gonna go take it outside, and uh, I'll bring the camera with me, and we'll see how we like it. So this is the Max Expedition Max Ultra Two. All right, so here's the Max Expedition Vulture Two out in the park over here. I just walked about a mile around. This backpack feels real nice. It's uh, extremely comfortable as you're walking. It's, uh, the straps feel really good on it. It feels like plenty of padding. Well, if I was to have one complaint on it, it's the, the back. You get kind of sweaty back there. It's not really well ventilated. So uh, if you're a sweaty person, you're going you're gonna to definitely feel it, even after walking a mile like what I did. Uh, some other initial thoughts. Let's see. Uh, not a lot of complaints. It feels really good. The load is. I have 35 pounds in here right now, and it doesn't feel like much when you put when you first initially pick it up. It's definitely heavy, but when you have it strapped on, especially with the chest strap and the waist strap, uh, it, it feels really good. Uh, I'm very happy with uh, how the weight is uh, balanced on here. So let's uh, finish our walk and let's go get that uh, Rush 72 on and test that out. <laughs> 